Yo, what's up? It's Pierre, aka the Eleven Power, and you're watching Let's Chat with Courtney Hall. Boom. Big, 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 big age. Hey everybody, thank you for watching another episode of Let's Chat with Courtney Hall. I have a celebrity in the building. Oh, no. With me is <laughs> Mr. Pierre. What's going on? What's going on? How are you? Having me. Well, thank um, you for coming. Yeah, you don't have to come. You don't got to be in the mix. You know? Get from behind the shadows a little bit. I know. So you're always behind the camera. Now you're sitting in front of the camera. Yep. Let's talk about a movie that you just premiered oh, so yeah. far close to. Now, yeah, it was a great movie. Yes, great movie. yes, the premiere was amazing. I'm Thank you for super, coming. Thank you for being a part of it. I'm super honored that I got to be a part oh, of it. So, you know, it was automatic. Yes, yes. Now, it took a year for it to come out. A little bit over a year. A little bit over a year. Mm -hmm. Talk about that process. What went into your mind saying, okay, um, not now? Because there was a couple of times when you said, okay, I think it's time. And then you kind of retracted a little bit and said, okay, not um, now. It's just, you know, back in college, um, I used to throw parties with my homies, shout out to them, and um, I kind of took a step away from that. So at first we were going to do the original premiere, and we, you know, working with U of H, and um, I really just didn't like how they handled, you know, a couple certain situations, mm -hmm. so I decided, you know, it was time to really show people what we could do again. You know, I didn't really want to do it to them, but we got to do it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we took a step back and we um, restructured the premiere mm -hmm. to make it more so for the people that support us. Mm -hmm. And um, basically built it back from the ground up, found a new venue, got some new sponsors. Big shout out to ShareSpace. Um, also shout out to St. Arnold's Brewery. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, they got behind us and we made it happen. So we just basically rebuilt it from the ground up to take it in a different direction, create kind of more of an experience. Mm, it was an experience. It was like a historic moment. Like I yeah. feel like oh, this no, movie, sure. yeah, I feel like this movie is gonna do amazing things. And I'm glad that I got to at least attend and watch and be a part yeah, of it. Definitely. Now at the premiere, you did get a little bit emotional. Mm -hmm. Tell me what was going through your head at that moment. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure that was like, stress like on you oh no nah, i don't i don't feel no stress oh that's definitely not what it was all right um basically <laughs> when we came up with this movie um uh, we it was one of our first projects matter of fact this is the first project that we ever raised money for mm. so we raised on um, 500 dollars in like two days wow ended wow. up with like 915 and we was like oh man we probably should ask for more right right but um you know big shout out to jamal was his idea to do that so mm. i had a conversation with my aunt she was one of the early supporters and um, basically she passed away before the movie could be released. Mm. So that's where that came from. You know, it's kind of, I tell people all the time, like, it's not so much about me, mm -hmm. even though I'm like the one pushing it, but it's really for my family. What so, was you know, one of the things that she told you that you hold, well, you held close oh, to you? I, I mean, well, I hold everything she said. Like I say, the way my family was raised, like we have a very, I mean, it's a very can-do mindset. I'm pretty much the only one kind of pursuing the entertainment, not even pursuing working in entertainment because mm -hmm. it's a difference that's mm -hmm. what we're doing right now but um she always said like you know god puts things on your heart for a reason mm -hmm. and you know so that's kind of the main thing um you know so i just take you know everything that's sitting there is there for a reason just got to figure out why yeah so i stick by that every day i actually said it in the movie too so mm -hmm. in my one pivotal scene <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, so. you did good so whenever i actually saw you in the movie mm -hmm. i almost kind of thought about F Alfred uh, Hitchcock, mm -hmm. um, how he was actually in his projects. I yeah. mean, you were in the movie acting. Like, yeah. how did that? A little happen? bit. I mean, who you was know, behind the camera? <laughs> shout out to KJ and Trey. Okay. And Jamal, like I said, I mean, we got a, a hell of a team to mm -hmm. be honest. So you know, they're they pretty much help make it go. And um, basically, you know, Trey wrote the film, he directed it. Um, you know, and I helped. I guess co-directed. KJ did the same thing. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I was like, man, we're doing this this part, too. I said, I got to sprinkle meat. You know, just a little bit. In there, bit. just a little bit, yeah. Just a little bit. I'm yeah. like, I got to give him a little bit of sauce, like, because we really finna, like I said, be on some masterpiece type stuff. So, so talk about your character. What? Who did you um, play? Okay, so it's a couple different characters. If you've seen first, so far, close one, I play myself, which is I play, like, Pierre that I am now. Okay. It's a quick, quick scene. Mm. There's a scene when Trey's walking up and, and the dude's like, hey bro, that's Pierre. You, you don't know Pete? He used to go to the school, like power moves, like, mm -hmm. you know, gassing me up. Mm -hmm. So we had that scene, bam. So, so far close to, we take that same character, we throw him in the party. Mm -hmm. I'm just there catching the vibe, got, you know, like three chains that's on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The typical life. So after that, um, the pivotal scene was when I played the homeless man. Mm -hmm. You know, so I dressed up, I tried to dress up as bummy as I could. Mm -hmm. You know, I went to the thrift store, I had on some socks that didn't match, some old shoes. 
I had a Drake shirt because I wanted people to know that, you know, that this is happening currently. Mm. So the scene I was in, um, I was basically telling Trey's character that um, the movie, I was basically um, kind of, damn, I just lost what I was going to say. Well, because you know what? I was actually going to say that I actually thought that your character at the party mm -hmm. somehow went through some type of hard oh. times and <laughs> was the homeless guy. And then you were kind of telling Trey, you know, a couple of words. You need to go check it out to see what we're talking about. Yeah, but we were I picking thought, back up Trey. Oh, okay. It was, was okay. kind of like that, but I was like, man, I can't. I can't go out like that. So we just made two different characters. Okay, gotcha. But yeah, that's what the character is for. Like I was basically there to kind of pick Trey back up because Trey's character was originally homeless. Mm. So he's at this sunken place. Mm -hmm. And uh, my character was basically there to kind of remind him like, you've already kind of went through this. Mm -hmm. You got people over there to support you. Mm -hmm. They're here in the middle of nowhere for you. So, you know, it was kind of just rewrapping the story around that. Mm -hmm. And it was also a pivotal scene because he learned some vital information about his parents in that scene. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I just gotta watch it and find out. But he was just there to kind of pick his character back up and kind of remind him like, this is what you've come from, but that's where you're going. Yeah. So, this is actually gonna be sold on Amazon Prime. Yeah. When yeah. can we expect um, to, to- Working see? on that right now. So okay. hopefully to have it out in the next month. But, um, you know, luckily, a lot of college students got Prime. A lot of people shop a lot, so if y'all got it, you know, Prime Video is already included into the Prime package, so everybody can just stream it. Mm -hmm. You need to blow it up. Right. Five star reviews, nothing less, comments, all that. Yeah. So you actually <laughs> remind me of somebody uh, like P Diddy, or just like <laughs> how you how you act, the confidence that you have. Definitely. Was that instilled in you, or do you think that you were just like born just like that? Um, I Be think it's it's like a it's a combination because you of have things. you have like okay you have this confidence and then mm -hmm. you have this like kind of aura about you like no matter what you say like I'm gonna be great no matter what yeah oh yeah no that's me twenty four seven like mm -hmm. I mean honestly that's that's kind of how I've always been for sure but like I said I come from a family um, my grandma my grandmother's smart my granddad was smart. Um, you know, then I got the other side of my family that were kind of, I guess, in the streets. Mm -hmm. So I've always been able to kind of like take from the best of both worlds and kind of figure out where I wanted to place myself. Mm -hmm. I saw a lot of what I didn't want to see growing up and I saw a lot of what I needed to see growing up. So kind of like me, I just always knew like, you know, my brother was in the streets and I always knew that I wasn't going to do that. Mm -hmm. So I said, man, you know what, I'm going to just go this way and I'm going to be the best at it. And it's kind of just been like a developing thing. Like I always felt like I was the best. Mm -hmm. I feel like one day people would feel like I was the best. Mm -hmm. This is since probably like, as long as I could remember. Got to college and it's just been going like this. It's like, as more time has went on, mm -hmm. people start feeling the same way. Like, you know, a big thing I was putting out this year, um, since 2019 started, I said I was the best director in Texas. I was just like, you know, I don't care. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just started saying it. And then I started saying it and people was agreeing. So I'm like, yeah. Yo, you know, you got to really put it out there. But I think most importantly, my work speaks for itself. Like, right. when it comes to, like I say, the work, like, it's, I mean, I don't really have to say nothing. Like, it's just, it speaks for itself. So yeah. that's really a big part. I mean, the movie, going back to the movie, it was just so, like, well edited. Like, the transitions, it was great. So Ooh, I was like, oh, my hard. gosh. <laughs> like, it, it looked like, I mean, amazing. Yeah, I think a lot of people were impressed visually, like, you know, but I've been doing the, um, I guess videography, since I was a little kid, you know, I bought my first professional camera in maybe 2011 when I actually got some money on my own. Mm -hmm. But I was running around with the VHS cam, mm -hmm. you know, even the, just the regular digital cameras back in like 05. So I've always had the camera. So the movie is kind of a reflection of all the years that I have already mm -hmm. put into, um, you know, just learning how to, you know, <clears throat> film and filmography mm -hmm. and all of that. So what made you want to get into like visual production? Um, Okay. Or doing visuals. I mean, at first, you know, it started. Okay, my dad used to DJ. My uncle used to DJ. Like, three of my uncles DJ. Like, I have aunts that sing. A lot of people sing. Mom used to sing a little bit too. Like, mm -hmm. it's like just I just come from like a, I wouldn't say musical family, but a lot of people got musical talent. You know, mm -hmm. nobody really made it big. So it starts with that. Um, me and my brother in the room. We used to make beats on FL Studio. Mm -hmm. So I was producing, rapping. And then from there, I was putting out a lot of music and I really just didn't want to pay anybody. Matter of fact, I paid one dude for videos. I ain't gonna say his name, but uh -oh. shout out to him. I paid him. It took him two months to edit it. Mm. After that, I'll send it over again. Yeah, two and basically, months. Yeah, it took two months to edit a video. And then when he sent me the edit, it was so, it was basic. But it's like, you know, I think as a creator, we tend to kind of overly critique. Mm. Because that same video, when I put it out, people loved it. 
Okay. But personally, as a creative, I was like, nah, I could do something better than this. Mm -hmm. And I hit the ground running ever since. I, um, you know, just took it to the next. I'm, I'm way better than him at this point. Visually, you know what I'm saying? He's he a cool <laughs> dude, though. That's, that's the homie. He cool. But, like, just my work, so. Right, right. No, nah, it's just, yeah, I just, I just didn't really want to pay nobody. Yeah, So yeah. that was. Kind of like, like that turning little, point. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I got to do it like this. But, you know, what people don't see is the videos are pretty terrible for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, maybe 2016, 2017, that's when, like, that whole, like, I don't know, it just really started going, like, all the way, like, it started clicking. Mm. But before that, I've been having videos, and they were just, you know. Kind of so so. It's definitely been a progression. Yeah. So let's talk about the people that you work with, mm -hmm. like Tammy Roman. Oh, shout out to her. How did that come about? Like, how did you get her to, to work um, with you? I mean, first of all, big shout out to Jazz Anderson. Yeah, um, and Jazz Anderson, her daughter. Yeah, that, that was a big reason. And, you know, how that really came through, um, big shout out to Ray. Uh, we used to have a blog called Black Sheep. Mm -hmm. One of our writers, big shout out to Shay Jordan. He was actually um, friends with Jazz already. So he knew she was doing music, and um, he would basically post about her music on our blog. And, you know, we're the owners of the blog, so we're just reading it, you know, checking it out. And Jazz used to follow me on Twitter. So one day, um, <laughs> she saw me post a video. I was like, I know you did videos. And it was just like that. Like, she liked the video, and wow. we just hit the ground running. Okay, okay. So how did you get to meet uh, Tammy and work oh, with okay. her? Oh, okay. So, you know, like Was I say, it through her daughter? Yeah, me okay. and Jazz were putting out, we probably, matter of fact, I met Tammy the first, at the very first video me and Jazz shot. Mm. Her mom pulled up on me, you know, I guess they were like, you gotta make sure this guy's legit. Right, right. So they pulled up on me. Um, shout out to Reggie, too. The whole family was there. What? Reggie was there? Wow. Yeah, shout out to Reggie, man. He was cool. Like, they pulled up. Is he really tall? Or is he? He's, he like six, eight, six, four. I don't wow. know. He's huge, man. Wow. Shout out to, he cool, okay. though. Okay. Probably like, you know. General John, like he real chill. Okay. So they pulled up, and I remember thinking, like, damn, they just pulled up in the Porsche, like, Dang. I gotta kill this. Yeah. So I met her there, and then me and Jazz probably did like ten more videos before her mom was like, hey, mm. I need you to shoot a. Um, she wanted me to shoot like a reality TV show, like kind of like a pilot, mm -hmm. a test pilot deal. So I shot that, and then we ended up shooting the video that everybody's seen, which is she did like the Timmy T like, remix. Yeah, yep. It got like over, I think, like two million views. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, just through working with Jazz, really, I mean, her mom, it's, it's her mom, so she's seeing it automatically. Mm -hmm, like I mm -hmm. said, it's good, so it's like, it's one of those situations, you know, it why not? It just made sense, right. Yeah, it's right. like, why not? She's already working with him, he's cool, let's get it done. Yeah. So it was real, um, I guess, natural. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So what other projects are you working on now? Okay. That you can tell us about, because I know, you Okay, know. so we, right now, um, I'm really pushing 11 Power. 11 Power is my company, it's a, a multimedia entertainment company and I say that because we do pretty much everything you know what I'm saying I got um, two artists I'm working with right now um, Tobacco Ryan Vader we just threw a concert sponsored by Essential Water this past January mm -hmm. you know just a light flex right there yeah but um, you know those two mainly and of course producing more movies with my friend um, Dr. Shadow mm -hmm. on the film side and I'm um, just different live events really but it's mainly music and film is kind of like the two focal points it's all about the 11 power and um, just growth now, you used to actually be an artist, a rapper. Are you still doing music, or are you See, just kind of like, I don't really here's know? Here's the thing with the music, like, I record all the time. I have, like, probably, like, four, five EPs sitting on my computer. Mm. But the thing with the music was, um, when I was first really pushing it, that's when I really kind of started to learn that you really have to have a, um, kind of like a platform. You got to really have a plan with how you're putting out creative content. Mm. So back then, when I put out my song, which everybody knows me for, Power Moves, everybody went to U of H. That was kind of like their introduction to Pierre. Mm. Problem was, when I put out with that song, I didn't have, I think the mixtape might have came out like nine months later, like a year later. So it's a lot about consistency. Mm. So low key, I kind of got like a little discouraged. And like, I really sat back. And that's when I started like just learning about everything as a whole to figure out how it really worked. So now I'm at a point where I'm just sitting on a bunch of music, but you know, I'm just deciding when I want to put it out. But I always joke with people all the time. The second we really get as hot as I want to get, yeah. I'm gonna just put out an album. Okay, so Surprise do you release, think like, that do you think that you don't really have to have talent, that it's all about consistency in anything that you do? It's it's primarily consistency. Okay. But talent is what separates people. Mm. Talent is what's gonna like really separate or really get you to the top tier. You go to okay. like the top tier in music or even top tier in filmmaking, mm -hmm. top tier, the talent is the gap mm -hmm. when it comes to the talent. But do you need talent for, I guess, a quick buck? You don't need that much talent. But if you're trying to make a lasting impact, like, you know, I listen to like Tupac, people like that, people that, you know, have been 
I guess, dead for over 20 years that people still talk about. That's kind of the light I want to be remembered in. I want people to still so talk really, about everything I'm touching. So yeah. I think talent is what separates people over time. Right. So you have the clothing for 11th Power. Yes. I actually got a hat and a shirt, oh, yeah. and it's super Big shout amazing. Out to yes, it's super amazing. Now, where can we go to purchase? And what oh. made you say, I need to create this dope? Um, merch. Why? Okay. Um, mainly, we just came out with some merch. I wanted, um, you know, a lot of people always say they support me. So I was just like, well, I mean, if they really support me, I, I guess they'll buy the shirt. Mm -hmm. So um, when I first came out with Power Moves back in 2012, I originally had some shirts to set Power Moves. Mm. I only got like 10 of them made. I gave them away to people. So I had already done it a little bit it, um, in the past. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But like I said, it finally came around to now. I'm like, well, I have so much, I guess so much under my resume at this point, I was like, well, it's kind of like, why not support it? Mm. So um, we just came out with a couple mm. shirts. Um, well, I came out with a couple shirts revolving around all the things I do right now. Mm. And um, you can get them on the 11 powercom Yes, yes. You know, and we got to put we... that in the description. Yes, right. And where can we find you? Um, 11.pierre on Instagram and um, at the new edition on Twitter and, um, you know, youtube.com slash 22 minus 11. That's our, I guess the company's YouTube, but it's a lot of work on there. You know, 8 million plus views. Yes. Just a little bit. We, you know, we just, a little stunt, just a little stunt. Just a little stunt. So what's next for you? Um, I think what's next is um, definitely working on a tour right now. Hmm. 11 Power Tour. It's going to be a little Texas tour. We want to okay. take the artists that we're working with on tour. And we want to also grab different artists. So we're definitely going to hit Dallas. Um, hopefully San Antonio. Austin for sure. And then bring it back to Houston. Hmm. That's kind of like the main focus right now. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, definitely... Um, Tobacco Ryan just dropped, that's our other artist, he just dropped an album, A Beautiful Addiction. Mm. It's been out for, I guess, about a month. It's on um, Spotify, iTunes, everything. Um, so we just actually released the first video for that. Mm. And uh, we got a lot of videos coming out for the album. And then, you know, Vader has some new stuff coming out too. So really it's just a lot of visuals. Okay. So what do you look for in an artist before you, you know, take Choose to them work in? with them? Mm -hmm. Okay, so with Tobacco and Vader, they are the first two artists that I've really just decided to work with like that on a level like this. Previously, the artist I worked with the most was Tammy Roman's daughter. Mm. And it was just, you know, different independent artists. But I guess what really stood out about Tobacco and um, Vader, um, you know, first of all, they respected my business. Mm. When I reached out to them, they, were, they weren't asking for any discounts or anything like that. Mm. They just said, okay, like they were cool with it. Mm -hmm. Second of all, when I, you know, met them to work with them, I'm like, okay, like y'all are, the personality was there. They were, you know, genuine in their, you know, willingness to, to want to be better, to want to be great. Mm -hmm. That was a big part. But the real kicker was um, all of my homies listened to the music mm -hmm. and they really convinced me to do it. You know, like say, shout out to Jamal, shout out to Irv. They were like, hey man, this tobacco kid, like, right. have you listened to the album? Cause he had another album out. They like, man, you listen to it. Like this, this is the dude. Mm -hmm. So really it was um, other people, it was my homies, my good friends really, you know, just kind of big up in the artists. They like, yo, like this dude's talented. Same thing with Vader. And um, so, you know, it was, it was other people telling me they were good. Then when I finally started to go check it for myself to fully, mm -hmm. I said, okay, like this is something that could, this could possibly work. So, so if I was it. a, so if I was an artist and I really wanted to mm -hmm. make it big in the, in the industry, what would I need to have to work with 11 Power and Pierre? What mm -hmm. are the first steps for all the people that are? Uh, I would watching? say first steps, cause right now I'm looking for a R and B artist. Um, I'm actually working with my cousin, shout out to Jay Daziel. Mm -hmm. So I'm working with him right now. We haven't put him out yet, but mm -hmm. we're building him up. That's in the family, so he's automatically on board. Was that the one with the hat? Um, no, my oh, cousin, okay. I haven't. Cause he, he has, has a really nice look. Like I thought he was a. Oh, that's my cousin Josh. Shout out to Josh. Mm -hmm. um, good looks for in the family, but um, no well, Josh. Well, as far as like uh, a musician, like I thought he was oh, a Oh nah, he just got swag. Oh, okay, well that's good too. Yeah, shout out to Josh, you, you might have to see him. There you go, right? No, nah, but um. I say for an artist, you really gotta definitely you want to have a sound, um, a consistent sound. So you need to know as far as how you want your music to sound. You gotta already know what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. So it has to fit well with the other two artists I've already had. Mm -hmm. Second, you need your own sense of style, mm -hmm. like whatever it is. But you need something that you know something that's you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Other than that, you gotta be consistent. I don't really care if you have any music videos out per se, but when I check your social media, it needs to. You gotta be already on you gotta it. Gotta be add, a lot. like adding up. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta be sure. adding up. So if it's clicking, from there, what I'll do is um, I'll send it to my two homies, my two A and R's, and I'll really just kind of let them go through it first. Mm -hmm. And if it passes them too, like they don't really just like anything. So if mm -hmm. it passes them too, I'll listen to it again and we come to a collective decision. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, if you're dope, 
send me the music. Like I said, I'm always looking. Like like yeah. I said, really want to work with a R&B artist. Okay. Aside from my cousin, like I said, he yeah. he's there, but we need somebody else too. So you know, yeah. just send us the music. Do you want it to be a female, a male? We're really open. Okay. Really open. Okay. I mean, if it's a Young, female, old. don't be 35. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I mean, okay. you could be like Adele. Like, if you just really got a... I mean, if the music is there, the music going to speak for itself. But um, definitely, um, you know, always younger. Of course, I feel like music is a young man's sport mm -hmm. or just a young person's sport in general. But I mean, if you're in your 20s, teens, okay. yeah, just holler at us. I mean, but yeah, it could be male or female. Okay. Female, that's a plus. If it's a male, like I said, if you just got it, send it. The music right. needs to be undeniable, though. Okay, okay. What would you tell your younger self, if you can speak to your younger self? Oh, um, man, shout out to Mike Jones. I'll just say back then they didn't want me. Mm. Now I'm hot, they all on me. Mm. That's the main thing, but I mean, you know, I would just tell my younger self to really just keep on doing it. Because like I said, I've already, I've always had a a vision. Like even the movie now, like I, like I say, over 10 years of messing with the camera to make it look good. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. just really stick to the plan because so far it seems like it's working. Yeah, yeah. So, so where do you see yourself in like five years? Mm. Do you think you'll still be in Houston? Do you think you're going to be somewhere else? I mean, I'm definitely going to be in Texas. I feel like with entertainment, it's one of those things where, you know, back in the day, people felt like they had to move to LA and go sleep in the car. Mm -hmm. That's just not the reality no more. Mm -hmm. You know, some people sell that dream to themselves, but... I can go to LA whenever I want, mm. go to New York whenever I want, or, you know, travel overseas to another country. Mm -hmm. I've been blessed to do that too. But um, I think that I'll probably be definitely at the top. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I want to be, I want to get a Grammy, a Tony, an Emmy, and an Oscar. What? Not want to get it, we getting all of that. And yes. when I say us, I mean, basically whatever the 11 power touches, like, we're going to hit all four. And it's not mm -hmm. that many people to get all four. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're just going to really just take over the game, really. Right. Well, that's so and I'm just going to keep, you know, Enabling. I feel like, you know, I'm an enabler. Mm -hmm. Make sure I can help people get to where they're trying to go. Yeah. What are you doing for the community and how important it is it to you to go back mm -hmm. into the community and actually work in your community? Hmm. So I'm from Oak Cliff, you know, first and foremost. A lot of people don't know that because, you know, I guess they feel like I talk proper or maybe I look like I'm from the suburbs. But I'm from mm -hmm. Oak Cliff, you know, straight up Kimball High School, T.J. Brown Middle School, Till Marseille hey. Elementary School. That's right there. Mm -hmm. So um, really, I want to really take it back to the cliff because Oak Cliff is kind of having a resurgence right now. You got, um, I mean, ever since Yellow Beezy blew up, it's kind of oh, like yeah. kind of, I guess, starting to put Oak Cliff kind of back on the map. So I really want to go back to my high school and create a scholarship program. Mm. Um, definitely for sure. And then I got a couple homies in law school, um, pharmacy school. I really want to work with them to, you know, just kind of show kids that you don't got to choose sports if you don't want to. You don't have mm -hmm. to choose the streets. You can mm -hmm. go entertainment. You can go this way. Mm -hmm. And then aside from that, I mean, I just spoke at a, um, a high school last week about entertainment. So I did. I um, went to Career Day. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to Harmony. So I saw that. How was that? I mean, it was great. The kids yeah. loved it. You know, and I, I felt good being able to kind of show them some of the stuff that you can accomplish if you really just put your mind to it. But like I told them, um, you can do whatever you want to do. But it's important um, to do it smart. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. So sometimes mm -hmm. that requires going to school mm -hmm. or working with people to get an understanding for everything. But um, now it was a great experience. Like I never pictured myself at Career Day, and I told the kids straight up, you know, when you're your own boss, you wear what you want to wear. Yeah. Because my granny told me to wear a suit. Oh. I told her, I said, <laughs> I can't do it, granny. But, I, but like I told the kids, I say, you know, when I went to get the sponsorship with Essential Water, mm -hmm. you know, I knew I was going to be in a corporate building. I put on a suit, you know, mm -hmm. duality. Okay, so that you way, know. That way when I'm talking to people, that can potentially, you know, at least for that first right. meeting, right. you know, I wanted to make sure that they saw that I was serious. Right. So you know, like when to put on the suit and when to. Yeah, I say for like a first big meeting or something in a corporate building, wear the suit. After that, like it I say, is. they know what time it is. The work speaks. Mm -hmm. It's like either you're gonna do it or not. Right. But you know, initially, you know, sometimes the suit can help. You know, yeah. it's, it's just more presentable. Yeah. Tell us again where we can follow you and purchase your items. Um, definitely um, 11dower.com or the 11 powercom I will put it in the description. Yes. But uh, my Instagram is 1111.pierre, so 11.pierre. Um, Twitter is at the new edition. Yes. So, yes. I mean, all over social media and YouTube, youtube.com slash 22 minus 11. If you go to any of those platforms, you'll see the merchandise. Um, 
you know, whether you want a video or anything, like it's everything is on there. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming and sitting down, yes. talking to me, and you're finally in front of the camera. Um, oh, yeah, we're working on it. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, any other projects coming up before we leave? I feel um, like you're sitting on so much, and I, mean, I want really, the exclusive. I'm your friend. Give me the exclusive. I'm trying to think, like, because we got so much. We just, like, got our, like I said, our hands are is on so much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we definitely got another short film coming out um, with Shadow called Rogue, so nice. definitely look out for that. Um, I got another short series that I actually write and direct called nice. Just Friends. Um, oh. And um, okay. we got, it's really a lot, man. I'm, I'm sure I probably am forgetting something. Yeah. But you gotta just go to the Instagram. Yeah. Go to 11, you. Or you can follow at the 11 Power. That's the business Instagram. Okay. That kind of, I guess, gives you a wider view of everything but. well thank you so much again for coming out i really do appreciate oh, yeah, no it no problem anytime yes, yes and thank you for watching another episode of let's chat with courtney hall sitting with the boss hey <laughs> <laughs>